Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dave. I'm a licensed podiatrist. I would like to thank you for watching my video on my Frugal Foot YouTube channel. If you enjoy these videos, please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Well, in this short video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about sock wear. Now, why do we wear socks? Socks are used primarily to help wick moisture off of your skin and put it into your shoe. Now, I grew up wearing a lot of cotton socks. And back in the day, that was pretty much what you had to choose from. It was either it was either cotton or it was wool. But today, there are a lot of innovative new fabrics that are being used, not just for socks, but for undergarments as well. So gone are the days, for me at least, for cotton socks. No longer, I don't even own a pair of plain cotton socks. So when I go running, when I'm riding my bike, when I'm skiing, I always use technical sock wear. And you have a couple different avenues that you can choose from. First is you can just go with plain wool. Now wool has come a long way. Merino wool is very, very soft. It's very com comfortable to wear. I remember probably like 15 years ago, I did a trail race and in the race bag, you know, they, they throw in some, you know, power gel stuff and maybe some stickers or whatnot. And they also threw in a pair of smart wool socks. And I still have those socks today. Now, these aren't the smart wool socks that I got back in, 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 in that day, but this is one of my favorite pair. Um, smart wool gets compared oftentimes to this sock, Darn Tough, and another really good sock. And um, some people say that the Darn Tough socks are a little bit um, tougher than the smart wool. I've never had a problem with smart wool, so I'm not really going to get into that debate. I, I've never I've never had a hole in any of my smart wool socks. I really, really like them, but I like darn tough socks as well. Um, there are knockoff brands. I bought this pair of socks um, from a hunting store, and there's one of those deer emblems on the wool sock, but it works really well is just pretty much just as good as the smart wool sock. I really like this sock as well. There's, I don't even know who made it. Um, my cycling socks, they're made by Louis Garneau. And uh, it's just basically when you when you get these socks, there's no cotton in them. These are, we, they, they're, they don't have wool, but they have a combination of 50% Cool Plus, 30% polypropylene, 15% nylon, and 5% lycra, which gives us some stretch. And you can go nuts with this stuff. Bacon and eggs. There was one that I got for Christmas last year, and I don't know who made this one either. The point is, is that you want to use materials that wick moisture off of the skin to transfer it into your shoe. If you're wearing cotton socks and you perspire, the, and, and you will perspire, the cotton just stays wet. And when you're done with your workout, or when you're done working all day long with your boots on, well, what happens? You know, you can almost like wring out the sock because it's so wet, whereas these socks are fairly dry. It's, it's much better for your for your skin. You're not developing things like athlete's foot, and yeast, and mold infections and stuff like that. Now, if you wear a sport coat or a suit to the office, you should start looking for dress socks that at least have a blend of polypropylene, lycra, nylon, maybe cotton. Um, all of my socks have, are a blend, and they keep my skin much drier. It's much more comfortable, but I always make certain that I'm wearing shoes that are made of leather, not rubber or, or plastic. And if it does have rubber or plastic, it's just sections of it that, that have it for maybe some sort of waterproofing or maybe just in the toe area to keep the toe dry. And the rest of the shoe is either has vents in it with some sort of leather or maybe there's some sort of um, mesh in it so that my, my foot can breathe. So I may do some sock reviews um, down the line, um, but I didn't really want to get into that too much today. I'll, I'll put some links below for just different, you know, like maybe for smart wool socks and darn tough. And if I can find this um, Garneau sock, I'll throw that on there as well. I'm not sure. I bought this um, some time ago. I just bought them by the packages and just this has been sitting in my drawer for probably six months and, until I need it sometime. So, but anyhow, if you think this video was valuable to you, please give it a thumbs up. I'm Dr. Dave. I'll see you on the next video.